differential and final drives in tractors. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain about the working of differential in tractors. Explain the purpose of final drive in tractors. A wheel is a wonderful and very basic invention of all time. Earlier civilizations identified the nature of these wheels and utilized woods and stones to transport heavy loads to reduce the human effort required to move an object. Rapid growth of civilizations led to various changes in the design of a wheel. The basic stone wheels were eventually replaced by the modern day tires that we use nowadays. And human efforts paved the path to automobiles that run on the power derived from an engine. However, this engine operated vehicles often faced problems in farmland or in other applications. Let us discuss in detail those problems and see how they can be rectified. In the early history of automobiles, the power from the engine was transmitted to any one of the wheels of the vehicle. That wheel was called the drive wheel. If the drive wheel got stuck in mud or in a pothole, it kept rotating freely, unable to move further even under full acceleration. This free rotation of the wheel was due to the transmission of power to a single wheel and due to this, the other wheel was unable to get a grip on the road to move the vehicle. To resolve this problem, the power was transmitted to both the wheels. This helped the vehicle overcome muddy and pothole obstructions. Therefore, no problem occurred while driving on a straight road. However, when the vehicle took a turn, the inner wheel slipped and hindered the forward motion of the vehicle. Because, while taking a turn, the outer wheel has to cover a long distance, while the inner wheel has to cover a very small distance. As both the wheels were connected in the same axle, they were unable to turn separately. And, when both the wheels ran at the same speed, the outer wheel tended to skid when taking a long turn, while the inner wheel slipped when trying to take a short turn. In order to avoid the sliding of outer wheel and slipping of inner wheel, these wheels should be rotated at different speeds. The device that helps a vehicle to achieve different wheel speeds is called a differential. The main function of a differential is to allow each wheel to rotate at different speeds. A differential unit houses a number of gears that are engaged with one another. The different types of gears are bevel pinion, ring gear or crown, spider gears and side gears or axle gears. The power from the propeller shaft of an engine is transmitted via a bevel pinion to the crown or ring gear through 90 degrees. Due to the difference in the size of the bevel gear and the ring gear, speed reduction in the ring gear is achieved. Thus, the speed reduction takes from bevel pinion to the ring gear in the ratio of 4 is to 1. Two spider gears facing each other are connected to the ring gear. These spider gears are able to rotate along the ring gear and are able to spin on their own axis. These two spider gears are further engaged with two gears called side gears or axle gears, which are mounted on two shafts that hold the wheel at its end. When the vehicle moves straight, the spider gear does not spin on its own axis, but rotates as a single unit with the axle gear, thus distributing equal power to both the wheels. But as the vehicle turns, the inner wheel restricts the axle rotation, resulting in the change of the speed of axle gears. Here comes the role of a spider gear. Due to this speed difference, the spider gears starts to rotate on their own axis. Thus, 
The reduction in speed of the wheel at inner end compensates equally to the outer end. This results the outer wheel to run at a higher speed and thereby covering a larger distance. Thus, with the help of a differential, the speed of the inner wheel can be reduced while the speed of the outer wheel can be increased, thereby reducing the sliding and slipping of the wheels. Let us now move on to the final drive of an engine. Even with the use of a differential, the slippage problem rose again when the vehicle ran on a farming land. When the vehicle runs on a farming land, there is less friction between the tire and the road surface. This reduced friction causes the vehicle wheel to slip rigorously. In order to overcome this problem, an additional device introduced called a final drive is used. This setup introduces a pair of spur gear arrangement at the axle end. In this, one gear is smaller when compared to the other gear. This arrangement decreases the speed of the larger wheel. And since the same power is derived, the torque can be increased to avoid slippage at less friction surfaces like farmlands. Let us see how this is achieved with the help of a small experiment. Consider a rack and pinion arrangement used to lift a weight. When the weight is increased, we are unable to lift it. But when a large gear is made to mesh with the arrangement, it can lift the weight. And by meshing this with a much larger gear, we are able to lift even heavier weights. This proves that with decreased speeds, increased torque helps in lifting heavier weights. This same principle is introduced in tractors. In order to overcome the slippage at the farm fields, Summary In this lesson, you learned that a differential is a mechanical device used to allow the wheels to rotate at different speeds. The differential unit houses bevel pinion, ring gears or crown, spider gears and side gears or axle gears. Spider gears can rotate along the ring wheel and can spin on their own axis. When a vehicle moves straight, the spider gears rotates along the axle gears. But when the vehicle takes a turn, the spider gears tend to rotate as well spin on their own axis.